So, okay, I'm nervous as heck. Um, this is Georgie, and this is the syringe we will be using. Um, it is 60 millimeters, so uh, he will be doing 14 to 20 millimeters of water flushing before feeding, and then he will be doing 17 millimeters um, of feed. So, wish me luck, everybody. I'm nervous. Um, I keep a glass of jar of the warm water. I keep a lid on it because I have a tendency of accidentally spilling things. So everything is constantly capped and made sure that it's spill-proof. So, it's a good way to make sure you don't end up spilling things. But anyways, um, this is the food that he is receiving. Sorry about that. It is a critical care fine grind. Critical care fine grind is a premium recovery food that can be tube fed to herbivores with poor nutritional status resulting from illness or surgery. It's for rabbits, turtles, lizards. It can even be used for poultry, you guys, your chickens. Um, it's actually better than the exact bird food that I've heard um, that can help your birds. So give it a try if you need it. So, okay. I'm getting ready to pull up the, I'll do about, say, 15, we'll do 15, not first. Um, I don't have iodine on hand yet, I have to head to the store here pretty soon and grab that myself. Um, meanwhile, I disinfected it before I put them in here, I forgot to record that, I should have. So, I disinfected it with just rubbing alcohol on the outside to make sure that it was clean. Um, I disinfected my hands. Um, I'm heading to the store after this to get the supplies I need, but I need to tube feed them before I leave. Um, so again, um, the tape and the tube needs to be placed in the correct position. I just removed the tape from the shell. And the tube. And the veterinarian technician told me it kind of might leave an odor when I open it, so to be prepared. Um, let's see how this goes. Not too bad. Um, so, insert this in the tube, and I go real slow. So now that I know it's clear, I then take his, I first take the lid, cover the jar, take his food immediately afterward, try and cap it meanwhile. So here we go. So 17, I'll pull it up all the way, squirt back what I don't need. So, and this is only good for 24 hours. This is what I received from the vet yesterday when I picked him up. So by this afternoon, by 5 o'clock, this feed is no good. It has to be tossed out. So that's what he will receive. There's 17 ml right there. Um... I have to get a few things before I give him his medication this afternoon, which I will do with his next feeding. Just wanted to give you guys a brief video on what I do. So, time for the feed. It's okay, Georgie. That made me nervous. Okay, so now I have to rinse this out. So, let me rinse this out real quick. Um. 
again 14 to 20 ml of water for flushing after feeding hi baby Georgie Again, recap. Now to place the tape. You don't want it in the way of his arm that he could pull it. You don't want to kink it, and you don't want it in his way of his face. So you gotta just try and get it up there evenly to where it won't bother him so much. Whew. So next he will be getting the Batril this afternoon. And then the next video will be for his eye drops that I will be doing. Um, but before I do that, there's a few things I want to grab. So this is just a brief video on the tube feeding. Um, six times, let me see, it says every four hours of 17 millimeters and roughly about six times a day. So, wish me luck everybody. Say hi Georgie. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate your support, and so does Georgie. We love you guys.